Well, what's up guys? Matt from the Football Boots team and today's video is all about saving you a lot of money. And that's because we're going to be looking at the boots on the market which you may not need to buy because there's cheaper and better alternatives out there. And if you follow each one, there's even a chance you could save over £500. So let's get right into the video. The first model that we're going to be looking at is Adidas's new Nemesis range. Now in the Nemesis we've got two elite tier boots. We've got the 17 plus 360 agility and also the 17.1. Now there's a couple of big differences between each Nemesis boot. Firstly, the 17 plus 360 agility doesn't feature any laces and the 17.1 does and alongside that the price is a big difference. The laceless Nemesis is £280 and the 17.1 with laces is £220. In my opinion, the better boot to go for is the 17.1 because it's £60 cheaper and also because it features laces, you can customise the fit so much better. From Adidas to Nike, let's check out their Tiempo Legend 7, costing £190, making it the most expensive standard Tiempo Legend of all time. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a very nice football boot. The K-Leather upper feels very nice when you've got the boots on feet, and it also comes with flying at the heel and also fly wire cables. But there's another great boot in the Tiempo line, the Scaled Down Legacy 3, which is much cheaper at £115, so you can save quite a lot of money here. Now it still features a K leather upper, but it doesn't feature a fly knit heel cut. But at the end of the day, it's a feature you can't really feel. Back onto the Adidas hype, and we've got the X17.1. Now straight away, I'm gonna be honest, in my opinion, I don't feel like this is an elite level boot, although it still does cost quite a lot of money at 180 pounds. In my opinion, if you do go for an X boot and you can afford it, go for the Pure Speed or even last season's Pure Chaos. I think they are much better quality compared to the X17.1, but a really good option that you can do is go a scale down to the X17.2, which costs about 110 pounds, so 70 pounds cheaper, and the upper is arguably better because it's much softer. This next boot not to buy might be the one I'm most passionate about and that is the Adidas A17 Plus Pure Control which is mad expensive at £250. Now the problem with it for me is that it doesn't feature any laces. If you want a cool product, because I know that is a cool thing to have, you can just go buy a pair of trainers for the same price, wear them every single day and they're going to be cool. So in the football boot world, what is the better boot to buy? Well again it is the Ace but the 17.1 Prime Knit, it's cheaper at £220, so same Save yourself £30 there and also because it does have laces, again just like the Nemesis, you can customise the fit so much better. This next boot we're going to be talking about not to buy is a little bit of a tough one and that's because we're going to be saying not to buy one scale down boot but buy an even more scale down boot. Now the model we're going to be talking about is the Hypervenom. Now you can get the Face All 3 for £150 but why not save yourself almost half your money and buy the Feelon 3DF. Now the big thing about these scaled down boots is they both feature a collar which I know a lot of you guys out there really appreciate. Now there's actually not a lot of differences between the two scaled down Hypervenom boots. The biggest factor is that they both feature Nike skin uppers which is probably the main feature on most football boots. How good is the upper? Well these two Hypervenom models are very similar. Mixing it up, we're going to bring in Puma with their Evo Power Vigor 1 going up against the Vigor 2. Now these two boots look almost identical from Puma, although one's an Elite and one's a scaled down. The difference in price, the Vigor 1 cost £160 and the Vigor 2 cost £100. So what really are the differences? Well to be fair, they both feature the same elasticated collar around the ankle and also going into that lacing system. So the one big difference is the upper itself. The Vigor 1 features the Adapt Light upper where the Vigor 2 features an alternative synthetic. Onto the very popular Mercurial by Nike and we're going to say not to buy the Veloce 3DF at £145 but go for the more scaled down Victory 6DF at £80. So you can save some really good money here in the Mercurial range. Now the thing is, you're not going to get any kind of performance enhancement on both of these Nike models, anything compared to the likes of the Superfire 5 and also Vapor 11 just because it's not the same level as Lockdown and Responsiveness. So the thing is, if you're going to get a scaled down boot but want the collar, why not just go for the Victory 6 which is very similar to the Veloce 3. This next one is actually really painful for me because I'm going to be saying not to buy the Mizuno Rebola V1 MIJ. The problem is it costs £260. It really is one of my favourite boots on the market. It might even be the most high quality in my opinion, but £260 is so expensive. There's probably not going to be a lot of you guys watching this video who can actually afford that. So a really good alternative is going for the Rebola V1, which is made in Indonesia, which costs £170. So you can straight up save £90 
pounds and it still is a genuine elite level boot. The leather is arguably even softer than the V1 which is made in Japan but both these boots are amazing but guys that is pretty much it for today. Those boots are the ones we can say that you can find better alternatives out there to save you guys a load of money but in the comment section below and also in the poll card we want to know from you which will be the best option for you to not buy and the boot to go for but guys that is it for today all wrapped up so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it cheers